Hello guys and welcome to another video on DJ Vlogs. Today we are going to be reviewing Now 70s Glam Pop. This album was released yesterday and in today's video I'm going to be reviewing it. I'll review the cover, I'll review the disc artwork and also check out the tracklist. So first of all, the artwork. I really like this artwork, I think it looks really nice. You've got the texture in the middle, although it does say now Glam Pop 70s and I know the album is actually called Now 70s Glam Pop. I really do like the artwork. Of course, the Now as usual is in a different color. It's kind of in like a pinky, purpley, like a kind of like a purpley color, maybe like a dark, it, it kind of, it's a faded color. If you look, it actually starts off purple and then fades into pink. You've got stars around the text, which I think looks really nice. And the background is kind of like a blueyish color. Um, I, do, I quite like it. The stars and that are all very 70s themed and I think it does look really nice. They've been doing this with their last album and they're of course doing this with this album is where they include a few of the artists that feature on the album but in a little description bit on the bottom of the cover it says pop perfection from the sensational 70s and also has a few of the artists that feature on the album and I do quite like they do that. They don't often do that with any app now albums but I'm glad that they're doing that and I think it looks really nice. Now let's move on to the CD artwork. Like what they did with their previous album, they are only doing four discs and 80 songs, so I'll go through the CD artwork now. So starting off with CD1, this is CD1. I really do like this. I think it looks really nice. You've got a silvery background. You've got the title at the top, Now Glam Pop 70s or Now 70s Glam Pop. And you have stars on the disc, which I think looks really nice. And down the bottom, it says CD1. Now let's move on to CD2. This is CD2. Again, it's, it's pretty much the same as the last disc. You've got the stars on it again, you've got the silver background, and you have the title at the top now, Glam Pop 70s. And of course, it says CD2 down the bottom. And now let's move on to CD3. This is CD3. Again, it's similar to, to the other two discs. You've still got the stars, the silver background, and the title at the top now, Glam Pop 70s. And it says CD3 down the bottom. Now let's move on to CD4. This is CD4. I really like the artwork. Again, it's the same as the other discs. You've still got the stars and the silver background and now Glam Pop 70s at the top and down the bottom it says CD4. I do quite like the artwork. It's just a shame that all the discs are the same. The stars don't even move. They're in the same place and you've got the same colour background. I do still like the disc artwork though. It would have just been a little bit nice if they maybe changed something. So even just move the stars around or change the background colour on each disc. But I still do quite like the album artwork. Now let's move on to the track list. Now the full CD tracklist is on full, on the back you have disc 1, disc 2, disc 3 and disc 4, but when you actually open up the album and you have a look inside, so now this is where disc 1 would be, you have the tracklist on there and then you open it up and you can see the, the tracklist for CD 2 and so on. So I do quite like they've done that, they did it with the previous album and I quite like that they're doing that as well. They do that with a lot of albums by putting the tracklist inside the album and putting it on full on the back, but I do like that they've done it in two different ways. Now let's go through and have a look at a few songs from each disc of the tracklist. So starting off with CD1, we start off with Killer Queen by Queen. You've got Come On Feel The Noise by Slade. You've got See My Baby Jive by Wizard. Tiger Feet by Mud. Gonna Make You A Star by David Essex. The Show Must Go On by Leo Slayer. Son Of My Father by Chicory Tip. January by Pilot. Virginia Plain by Roxy Music. And ending CD1, we have This Town Isn't Big Enough for the Both of Us by Sparks. And moving on to CD2, and we start off with Waterloo by ABBA. You've got Bye Bye Baby by Bay City Rollers. You've got The Bump by Kenny. You've got Ding El Dong by Tijin. You've got In the Summertime by Mungo Jerry. Venus by Shocking Blue. And ending CD2, we have Na Na Hey Hey Kiss Him Goodbye by Steam. And moving on to CD3, we start off with Boring Blitz by Sweet. You've got Dynamite by Mud. Angel Fingers by Wizard. Radar Love by Golden Earring. Rock On by David Essex. Billy Don't Be a Hero by Proper Lace. Dancing on a Saturday Night by Larry Blue, The Man Who Sold the World by Lulu, Tell Him by Hello, and finishing CD3 we have Hi Ho Silver Lining by Jeff Beck. Now moving on to the fourth disc and the last disc, we start off with shang lang by Bay City Rollers, you've got Seasons in the Sun by Jerry Jacks, you've got ABC by Jackson 5, Sad Sweet Dreamer by Sweet Sensation, There's a Whole Lot of Loving by Guys and Dolls, Honey Honey by Abba, Tie a Yellow Ribbon Round the Old Oak Tree by Dawn, Sherpy Chirp Cheap Cheap by Middle of the Road, and ending disc four and ending the album, we, we end with Guilty by The Pearls. So that is is a few songs from the tracklist. I do quite like the tracklist. There's a lot of pop popular glam pop 70s songs on the album, as you'd expect. I really do like the tracklist. There's quite a few artists that feature on there a few times, I noticed. 
but I genuinely do think the tracklist is great. So if you are a fan of the 70s and, and you like quite a few of those songs, then I definitely recommend getting this album. Now the album was released just yesterday and if you would like to get your copy, you can do. You can get it in supermarkets, uh, you can get it on Amazon, HMV Online and Zoom and you should be able to get it in HMV stores when they reopen. So that's it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, please make sure you have a massive thumbs up. Be massively appreciated if you do. Also make sure you subscribe and enable notifications to be notified every time I receive a new video and make sure you follow my Instagram, my Twitter and my Snapchat. That'll be just a side right there and links to all my social media will be in the description down below. Make sure you go follow up on all of them. And guys, I'll see you soon for another YouTube video.